This opening really didn't lie to us because Karina is back. How many days do we have to wait on this review, old man? Please, please, I can explain, I can explain. Yo, what's up everyone? Trey Man one here and welcome back to a new video guys. As you all can see, I actually needed a little bit of a break from reviewing Journeys with the last episode. Nothing against Journeys, it's just the last two episodes I wasn't really feeling. The Chloe and Evie episode, I literally waited a whole day afterwards to finally get to watch that one. And as for this one, same as well. I was more excited because it was Project Mew, but even so, you know, it, it just... I don't know, I feel like I've got a little bit drained out of journeys, but not anymore. We got two exciting new titles to talk about, so let's go and get right into it. Episode 84 definitely clickbaited me, and it's called Al Creamy Super Sweet Battle. The summary states, Ash has gotten a call from Opal, the gym leader, who tells him she's sponsoring a special tournament that both Leon and Ray Han are going to enter. When I first read this, I was like, oh my gosh, let's go journeys. And then she would like Ash and his friends to take part in it. So I'm sitting there like, we're about to get a universe like tournament with Ash, Chloe, Go, Leon, and Ray Han. Yo, I was super excited, super pumped. But then they trolled us. And here's where we get the troll. Ash believes that he's about to, you know, battle Leon again. But believe it or not, it turns out to be a tournament about decorating our creamies. And I just like lost it right there. I was like, you gotta be kidding me, Journeys. But at the same time, you know, I think this is going to be a pretty good episode because this is going to give more character depth to both Leon and Rayhan. One thing I didn't really like after the darkest day is just like the absence of Leon and especially Rayhan. Rayhan, he got introduced. That was cool. He helped out in the darkest day. That was cool. But he hasn't interacted with Ash once and he's in every opening sequence. He's supposed to be a rival to Ash. How are we supposed to feel a rivalry between these two? I don't even know if they're going to battle. I'm, obviously, you know, they probably will battle later on. but. I just didn't really like how they handled their rivalry. So seeing now that they're actually going to be meeting each other and that we may finally start to get a better rivalry between Ash, Rayhan, and obviously, you know, more interactions between Ash and Leon is exciting. Honestly, I'm just super glad that Opal is returning. To be honest, I thought they were going to treat her as a character of the day. Seeing how, you know, she appeared that one time, they didn't mention being the gym leader and just kind of was like, okay, bye. So I was like, dang, Opal got done dirty. But seeing that she's back, Confirmed to be the gym leader has me super excited. I wonder if she's actually a participant in the championship. That would be really cool to see her and Ash have a battle in the hyper class. Also, do wonder, you know, is Chloe finally gonna reunite with that ponyta? Because they hyped up this ponyta so much. Everyone was like, Chloe's gonna catch a ponyta. And then, you know, they dropped the ball on us. She didn't catch it. So seeing that we are coming back here, it is possible that she could possibly reunite with that ponyta. If she doesn't, then you know that plot's just done. It's gonna be the dupider of this series, but if not. That would be pretty cool, but Alchemy is going to be the Pokemon, the center of attention. Ghost obviously going to catch one, and yeah, we may get some development for Ash and his rivals as well. The following episode is the one that I know many of you all have been waiting for, and that's the Lucario Knight Adventure on Mega Island. Having received a keystone from Karina, Ash heads for Mega Island to get a Lucario Knight, the Mega Stone necessary for Mega Evolution. That's right, folks. Ash is getting a Mega Lucario after all this time. He's finally getting a Mega Evolution. And, you know, as hype as I am for this, it just has me thinking, what about Koga? Koga? Oh, boss, such a Koga, come back to me. I love you. I miss you, Koga. Oh, Koga, please come back and share some spotlight with Kario. Please give him the training he needs. But I am super excited for this episode, guys. I feel like after this episode, we'll finally be getting that new opening that we've been waiting for because here's the thing, Karina is in the current opening and I've been wondering, you know, is Karina not going to come back? But this episode confirms she's going to be coming back. But I also do wonder, like, is there an episode that we're missing in between this? Because this episode comes out on October the 22nd. October the 8th is when the Rayhan and Leon episode happens. So either they're going to have a couple week breaks. Or Ash and Karina may be having a rematch in the Pokemon World Championship the episode right before this. Because it seems like this episode is a continuation. It's, they're saying, you know, Ash has already received the Keystone. My theory is that Ash and Karina are going to have a rematch in the Hyper Class. Ash is going to be victorious, Lucario versus Lucario. And then that's when he gets a Keystone to head to Mega Island and everything like that. So this is going to be a pretty interesting episode. Once we get more titles and summaries about, you know, if Ash is going to be fighting Karina again or not. I will let you all know, but 
Get hype everyone, this is the hype time and I am really excited. If y'all didn't see my community post, my overall rating for Journeys episode 80 was a solid 7 out of 10. It was a really enjoyable episode, great episode for Gold. You know, I really did love everything that they did with, you know, the Hunter and the stakes were really high in this episode. It was really nice. I, I don't know, it just, it, was a, it wasn't as good as the first Project Mew episodes, which is understandable because, you know, they had to set the tone with that one. So hopefully, you know, more Project Mew missions will be great like these. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. Please, in the comment section down below, let me know what y'all thought of and what are you most excited for. I'm really happy to see Ash get a Mega Lucario. First, the peak Ash UMZ and Z moves return. Now Ash is finally getting the Mega Evolution. They haven't really focused too much on Dynamax, but I do believe that Gengar will be getting some development soon with Dynamax. And so let's just hope. And then we need our good old Koga. But yeah, everyone, thank you all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Trade Man 1. Peace out.